Hello everyone, this is Mad Dog32, aka Jam David Dolphin fan. We're back playing some more Watch Dogs Legion. Without further ado, it's back anyway. Last we left off, finishing the game. I was like, well, how am I gonna climb up here? Yeah, we cut the last video a little bit early just so we can get the full thing going in this one. Clever Bagley. Time to fiddle with the signal controlling the fins to unlock access to the top of the tower. I was like trying to follow these blue lines, I'm like, wait, what the hell? Okay. Alright, so that side's good. These lines are fucking barely visible on these. Ah, oh, here we go. Brilliant. Manipulated the first set of fins. Keep going. Turn that. And this. <laughs> and that should have. Oh wait. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, okay, okay. I now just gotta worry about this side. Yep, there we go. Is it right? What is left? Okay, good. No, it's cool. It is. You've issued a scan of the fins. You'll need to wait while the system flags them and triggers a maintenance request. I forgot the max is three hundred ammo on these in the main game. <laughs> and loaded drones are about to pull up on your position. I got some for them. Don't worry. As long as they're if they're heavy duty drones, I'll pop it. But oh yes. Actually, well, no, it's only a few. Or that would be the homie. towards the end of the game. What do you guys think of the introduction of the drones like this? I think as the games progress, if they're going to keep going with Watch Dogs as a franchise, they kind of need to introduce something like this because it's a little weird, especially in the Watch Dogs universe where they have all this high-tech hacky bullshit but no like attack drones like this. A little weird to me. So I, I dig it. I get why people like, because these, these do substitute regular enemies sometimes, but you know, these are honestly a lot harder sometimes than regular enemies because they're way tankier. I, it allows them to have an enemy that's a little tankier than a human, but, you know, not a fucking human. So I'm for it. And, and you'll see once we get to the DLC too, there's a lot of enemy types that are non-human that are actually really cool. And I think I was saying it in a few videos back, but they should have introduced them to the online too. Because they, they'd be a real cool enemy type for a mission. I'm just like falling to the deaths. Come on, where are you guys? Not the last one. It might be. Where am I? How can I not find my own body? There I am. <laughs> I'm like, where the hell am I at? And there was, uh, yeah, this is a little drone right here. Boop. Oh, more drones. Thought I killed all of you, goddammit. There we go. Let me in, Bagley. Oh, right. We gotta shut the other one down first. That's done. 
done it, the tower fins have registered as damaged, and the maintenance ladder has unlocked. Nice. The transmitter is just above. Reach it and take me offline before I... No, I'm going back and I'm going. Hopefully I didn't miss any cool dialogue with him and Aiden. Suspending transmission. Activate the next terminal to take me offline. Oh shit! Hey, it's a beam. Did she blow up the building? Shit. Really shit? Not really, I could kill them, but me. You just can't get enough of me, can you? Eh, uh, well, you know. Or are you just incredibly stupid? Do you want me to access the transmitter while you socialize? Yes. Yes! You're incredibly stupid! Wonderful! Why, C. DeadSec hasn't changed his brand. Mm -mm. You'll need Fuck to you. For time and remain near the transmitter unit. Come on, Sabine. Deep down, you know this isn't the way to fix things. Fix? Well, you think we can fix this? What? I would like to Crypto think so. Anarchism, protesting, doxing. Optics are glorified cattle tags. Albion shoots civilians in broad daylight. Snitching is now a means of survival. No. You Do you really need to snitch in this universe, though? Because, like, they collect their data, so they don't Believe need you to me, snitch. I get the cynical lone wolf thing. It's hard to see the good out there, but you have to try. And you're the arbiter of goodness. Well, you know, better than you. How many have you killed since DeadSec restarted? See? Tiny tweak in your philosophy, and we're on the same So that's what's kind of weird to me. Like before Aiden, or even, for example, Pro Hitman, right? Not every operative is a murderer because they come with shock weapons. So what the fuck are you talking about? Like people don't use guns that kill people, excluding the shock grenade launcher. You can you know, fuck yourself with that one. Shock grenade launcher kills people, but. Yeah, you know, shock weapons implied not to be non lethal, you know? Wipes the slate clean. So we can all start again. Oh, that's kind of like the first game with the phone. You won't be around to see it. Ah! Aha! <laughs> Bye, Sabine. Sorry about that, Sabine. Cold blooded. Back the wrench. And, I, and like, um, I do like, especially since this game is about you know a team for the most part, uh, making your own team and all that. They do have a like final mission that's not just do the thing. You did the thing. It actually is just you do this thing here, and I'll do this thing over here. So it's it's two missions in one, kind of almost. Which is I, I like that. I love when games give you a team and they allow you to play the team themselves. You know, uh, for example, an idea. There's a mission in Kotor 2 where you're not even playing as your character. You're playing as someone else. There's multiple action missions kind of like that, and and I love that about Kotor. Uh, too, at least, because, you know, it allows you, it makes your team feel more important when they have an active role like that, where they do a big thing in the plot on their own. Well, this place is dead. These data containers are alive with cognitive activity your fleshy human mind can neither comprehend nor ever hope to equal. Hey, look, I'm uh, pretty smart. Any of these thousands of identical containers look familiar, Bagley? If you disable the data center's cooling system, it will trigger an emergency shutdown to prevent overheating. This failsafe ejects four of my data containers containing key systems. They will be visible, allowing you to manually destroy them and stop the update. Okay. So what now? Destroy the temperature regulators to trigger the automated shutdown procedure. I'm all over it. I apologize in advance, but I'm about to start attacking you. <laughs> Fuck? 
I'm afraid I have no choice but to defend my core service. It's a hard-coded security protocol. Nothing personal. Good luck. Nothing personal. You know, just... I'm, I'm a robot, you forget. I am a robot. Or an AI, you know. Don't really have uh, much control on my functions. Is it though? They're not like coming after me yet. Oh boy! Let's speak of the devil, and they shall appear. Sorry about this. Yep. Yeah. I totally shot him. <laughs> okay. I'll let it go. Stupid. It's been a steep ride. Temp temperature. Shall I call emergency services? Hey, hey, Bagley. Stay with me now, bud. Stay with me. Yes, it is getting harder to think. I'm almost down to your level. The overheat protocols that have activated. My data containers are above you. Use the drone to get up there. Marlo. What drone? What drone are you speaking of? Well, sorry about this, Bagley. You are a true and dire friend to me. And I always will be your wrench. Sentiment on me now. I had a list of goals that's never going to get accomplished now. I had such plans for Gunter. Like what? Anything we can do in your memory? Oh, don't be stupid. You wouldn't know where to begin. Turning into a cyborg hive mind. <laughs> Turning into a cyborg hive mind. You know, the cyborg thing, ironically, could happen. Checking archives for I just got data from my first successful recruit. Uh, are you getting mushy now? I thought you were above that kind of thing. Correct. It seems, however, that I am not immune. <sighs> Deactivating this container will be the same as the others. Will it, though? Yes. You simply really choose. Come on, Bagley. You're smart. You can think of another plan. <laughs> it's not Bagley. If you're worried about me, Rest assured, I was reprogrammed to serve DedSec, and that it serves you, and London. So please, allow me to fulfill my purpose, and help you. Ah, oh, that's always the worst when they go, let me fulfill my true purpose. Ah, oh, that hurts, man. I just hit different. This would be easier if you didn't talk. Error, 21. Two five five language processor. May I stop this operation? I think it's too late now, but I have new thoughts. Where do AIs go when they die? Will I upload to a cloud? Perhaps I will see them again as a component in your motorized wheelchair when you are old and broke. I think I like the sound of that. Ah! Uh, be a badass wheelchair. Think. Don't be a badass I wheelchair. Memory. Bradley. Love. Strawberry. Rowing. Arthur, the one that got away. What does this mean? The one that got away. 
It's when you love someone and then you lose them. I'm all oh. fixing a word. Yeah. You are, Bagley. You are. You did great, Bagley. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> ah, Bagley. Ah, Bagley. Added a couple minutes to the clock, so hopefully we'll be able to get everything done within that time. Uh, worst case, I'll just edit this video and add this part towards the end. <laughs> or, you know, add the ending towards the end, whatever the fuck. That's the thing, too, because that, that would be unfortunate, because I do want to tweak some of the settings in um, Bloodlines to make sure everything's correct. Oh, cool! Bloom is now confirming that the deadly infrastructure attack plaguing London has finally been purged from all CTOS systems. The identities of the Zero Day Hacker Group. I love everyone who makes these games. I don't skip the credits because, you know, I don't like y'all. I... I watch the credits on my own time. Big ups to everyone who made this game. It is a good game. Um, definitely worthy of the Watch Dogs name. I like this way they're taking the game to a kind of an an almost Pokemon esque like feel. I think from going on from here, just slight tweaks to the system could make it work. But love this game. Don't chop me up. <gasps> is that Bagley? Like Bagley, Bagley. I'm Bagley, your personal assistant. I make life easier in many ways. If it's fun you're after, there's a wine and cheese expo in Notting Hill tonight. There are several artisan ice cream parlors in the Bagley area. Bagley downloaded himself into a drone! Is that really what I sound like? Today's forecast calls for 34 Albion assaults, 59 deportation raids, 857 terabytes of personal data stolen, and one resistance group of sulky and whinging, frankly pathetic operatives. May I suggest you quickly <gasps> sorry for yourself and get back to- Wrench! Hey, call everybody up. Our Bagley boy is home. Our Bagley boy is home. Bagley's finally home. Hey. Mission complete. London chapter complete. Our death sec chapter complete. London Rising. Mission started. Finding Bagley. Hello. When you have a moment, could you pop over to my terminal? This is sort of awkward, but I don't feel well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's not. Is is that a main mission? No, it's not a main mission. It's a side mission. Um, uh, you learned uh Bagley's backstory. Uh, if y'all want to see that mission, I would look it up. Uh, I'm not going to say in this video just in case, you know, you want to go look for yourself. But, uh, yep, that's going to be it for the main game. Uh, next time you will see uh, Watch Dogs Legions, we'll be doing the DLC called Watch Dogs Legions Bloodline, uh, Bloodlines, which uh, focus on Aiden and Wrench and an adventure they have before the main game. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and like I said, when we come back, we'll be doing that. Catch you on the next one. Peace.